All right, there's one word that nobody wants to hear when it comes to construction. Delay, oh, just, nah. Yeah, we don't, wanna, we don't wanna hear that, Mike. That's not just what, <laughs> or that is just what's on the mind of drivers in Cleveland these days. Yeah, construction on a critical bridge and the flats will keep it out of service going into the new year. John Rudder is live there this morning. He's got more on what's causing the holdup. Good morning, John. Hey, good morning. Well, working on this historic swing bridge is causing some unique challenges for construction crews. And because of that, the project is being drawn out a little longer than they initially anticipated. But crews say it's not a matter of if, but when these repairs get completed. These detour signs will be up a little longer near the Center Street Swing Bridge. Anytime we're dealing with a historic bridge and on top of that a swing bridge, there's additional complications that we just can't predict while making the plans. Construction crews are working to restore the driving surface of the bridge as well as refurbish the sidewalks and add new lighting. The intangibles such as balancing an off-center bridge, such as working on a historical structure, Things like that that are of utmost importance that we have to pay attention to. Work is being done in the bridge's open position in order to not impact river traffic. But the unique structure has made working on the span a delicate process. The balance point is off to one side, making the project move slower than crews initially anticipated. So if we remove a piece of concrete from one side, we have to counterbalance the opposite side. If we bring a piece of equipment to one side, we have to counterbalance that piece of equipment. So. It's constantly a balancing act, as it, it sounds, and uh, it's what we have to do to make sure this uh, we preserve this bridge. The bridge closed in January of 2022. Construction crews hope to have the bridge reopen after a 10-month construction window, but steel repairs have taken longer than anticipated with the historic structure. It's definitely different uh, since it's just like a steel grate that we have to put the concrete on. It's definitely a little more uh, complex, but the overall principle is the same of uh, make, setting up a form and pouring the concrete on top of it. ODOT is overseeing the project because it includes federal funding with a price tag of $8.4 million. It acknowledges the delay is frustrating for drivers, but they can't be too cautious with the aging structure. We're doing this for your safety. We have to get this bridge right, and we want to make sure it's safe when it does reopen. We can't rush this process at all, and um, we want to make sure we preserve this historical bridge, too, for years to come. And so uh, we're doing everything that we can to make sure we keep it get it open as soon as we can. ODOT says they don't have an exact date for when they anticipate the bridge to reopen, but they say they hope to start painting in the spring and of course pouring that concrete driving surface. Mike.